Doctor, can I borrow half of your desk? Thank you very much. Oh. Ah, it's a blueprint for a new electrical system. I, I need to get it drawn up by today. Are you busy too? Oh. Let's be partners in overtime then. I've been into electricity ever since I was a kid. Just listening to currents crackling really soothed me. Huh? You think that's weird? You learn a lot when you're in Rhodes Island's engineering department. The operators bring weapons and equipment from all over. All sorts of technological applications you've never seen before. And all of them worth plenty of research time. If I put more efforts to my work, I might be able to stay in the engineering department. This is Pillow, a childhood friend of mine. Our family moved from somewhere way far all the way to Columbia, and I found myself very lonely at school. My mom gave me Pillow to keep me company. Oh, Doctor, you should know it can't speak. I got into an accident while I was on a lone study out in the country, and was unable to contact the rescue team. Pillow and I had to make it all the way back to inhabited land on foot. After that, I didn't really want to go outdoors. My dreams? Oh, that I work well and that every day is a nice day. Also, I want to buy a holiday villa in Sammy. And after my parents are retired, they can live there together. Yeah, I've got to stay healthy and keep on trucking until they retire. Since I was little, my mom and dad would find time every year to take me to the tundras on vacation. We're all really into cold places. Although, if I wanted to cover the cost for my own vacations, I'd have to go pick up work in the city again. Oh, sorry, doctor. Can I take a break here for a little bit? Ever since this new project kicked off, the shift schedule's been completely crazy. I still have to go check over the base station later. To tell the truth, I've wanted to try going outdoors lately. I've gotten to know a lot of people in the same line as me at Rhodes Island, and I want to experience more along with them. At least, I'm not ever going to be stuck on my own again. Not now. Oh, the doctor's asleep? Well, I better turn this machine down a bit. It's kind of loud. Uh, hello, I'm an electrical engineer from Columbia. Codename... Well, Closure suddenly started calling me Pudding, but I don't know if that's too weird. So, this is how professionals fight. All right, I better put in some training if I'm gonna make it through this safely. Thank you for the recognition. I still have a ways to go compared to Rhodes Island's other operators, so if there's any more high effort work, throw it my way. If I just get enough sleep, I can hold out for some real long shifts. Combat missions in the tundra? At this point, I think I can be of help. Doctor, thank you, and all of Rhodes Island for always encouraging me. I'd like to pitch in some of my own strength now. I'm being assigned to combat? Oh, just give me a bit more time to get ready. I... I can do this. I don't have much confidence in commanding, but I do know a thing or two about basic survival in the countryside. Pillow, don't you go leaving my sight. Getting shocked hurts, you know. Yep, understood. Oh, pillow, let's do our best. Oh, careful! All right, I, I'm up. Collector on standby. Electric diffusion. Electric charge. Live discharge. Mission complete. Right now, I got the same feeling I get seeing a blueprint come perfectly to life. What a relief. That 
wasn't too bad of a job. <laughs> Can you put this in my evaluation? Oh, no. A discrepancy like this should be totally avoidable. Everyone, orderly retreat, please. I don't want anyone to fall behind. Oh. Now, where should I put Pillow? Oh, careful. You'll get shocked. Oh, please don't throw out any of the pink household goods in the engineering department. Those are for overtime use. Good morning, Doctor. Oh, I should probably catch up on some sleep. Arknights. <laughs> <laughs>